What up, y'all? This is Tracy from Nerd Squish, and today we have a haul. So, today I'm filming this. It's November 3rd. Halloween is over. Let's all have a moment of silence for the spookiest time of the year. But the thing that should make us all feel better about Halloween being over is the after Halloween sales. Like, as sad as that next day after is, whoo, those sales are worth it. They are just, they're worth it. That's it, they're amazing. It's when I stock up, and this year I really did wanna stock up because we have the house now, so, you know, a lot of things that worked in the apartment didn't work here, needed to up my decor. So I went with my mom, my aunt, and my sister, and we hit like everything, literally the day after. It was, I was tired. I was more tired after this day than a day at work. Like, it was exhausting. But let's just get right on into it. First thing is a couple things from Spirit. Um, I got these pumpkin suspenders because, you know, I have a weird thing with suspenders. I don't, I don't know what it is, uh, but I love a good pair of suspenders with like a cute costume. You can't go wrong. Like every Mardi Gras, I'm like, I need some tight suspenders. So I'm, I'm working on my collection. Um, these are an excellent addition to them, if I say so myself. Um, then from Spirit, I got um, some bandage tights. Oh, no glare. Um, but I thought these were really cool. I've uh, been toying around with the idea of either doing a costume or a cosplay, Bride of Frankenstein or something like that. So I feel like these could work for a number of things and you can never have too many tights. So, tight. Then this, I wanted to get for our Halloween party this year, but I didn't feel like paying regular price. Blah, 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 blah. Didn't feel like paying regular price. So I'm glad I'm waited because they still had them. It is what they call the Machete Killer Shower Curtain, but clearly you can see that's supposed to be Jason Voorhees. Um, and it's kind of cool because our bathroom is sort of kind of Jason themed. Uh, we plan to make it more with Camp Crystal Lake signs and stuff like that, so this will definitely be an awesome addition to that bathroom. Uh, but like I said, everything was 50% off. So for all three of those things, I only spent $18.47, which isn't bad. Um, Spirit is a little high to begin with with their prices, but all the more reason to go to their after holiday sale, especially because they're only open November 1st and 2nd. Like they're, they're already closed, they wrapped up. Anything they don't sell, they put back in stock, sell at regular price next year. So if you didn't go, <laughs> you suck. What are you doing? Walmart, didn't get much, oh no, I'm dropping things. Didn't get much from Walmart. Uh, they were pretty picked over. They had a lot of candy left, but didn't really want any of that. But uh, the one thing I'm super, super excited about that I grabbed at Walmart was this zombie dog sign. Uh, it's got the little puppy dog and it just says, beware of zombie dog. One bite is all it takes. Um, so I thought this would be really, really cute to hang on the side of the house on the fence and maybe, you know, have Lily sit in front of it with a little dismembered arm because that would just be adorable. So then the other thing that I got from Walmart was just this little pumpkin hand soap, which I mean, you never have too much soap and you can still use this for Thanksgiving and we might be hosting Thanksgiving for my family. So I was like, eh. It works. We are gonna show you, we, who's we? There's one of me, there's just one, one. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I got at World Market. World Market, again, didn't have much, but they were already 75% off the next day, whereas everybody else was just 50, so I was very excited about that. Um, I found this vintage style sign, the little K.I. Cat and the pumpkin, says a merry Halloween and it's got the dial so you can count down you know Halloween will be here in and you can move this over here and it changes the little number um, and it's just paper I mean it's like a 
art stock thick paper, but it's really, really cute. I don't have any kind of countdown thing, so I thought that was really cool to get. But the thing that I'm really excited about from World Market, because I've been wanting one of these, and this one is far better than a lot of the ones I've seen, is this candelabra. It's just black, it's plain. Uh, it's got five. Very plain, which is what I liked about it, because a lot of them, they're trying to make them super Victorian, super skulls, and all this stuff. That's cute. But this, like, this is very versatile. I can leave this out all year long, and it's always gonna look tight, and I'm very, very excited about it. You cannot even see this by this bookshelf. Why am I doing this? Uh. Um, but yeah, this guy, originally, 30 bucks. I only paid $7.49, people. This is not a drill. So then, the last place where I spent my after Halloween money, my favorite of all, Target. Oh. Um, I ran into there and I saw red. I started just going down aisles, like putting stuff in my cart. And I was like, okay, I need to reevaluate my life right now. Um, so I didn't get as much as I was going to because I'm trying to work on a budget. But I got some really, really, really cool pieces. First thing I got is this candle holder. Again, plain, black, nothing fancy about it, very versatile. You can use this all year. Eight bucks originally, only paid four bucks for it. Beautiful. What else do you need? I got, um, what do I show you? I got this little pumpkin, light up pumpkin. Um, I wanted this guy last year and didn't get him, but I really liked the shape of this guy. He's like that oblong pumpkin and he's black. He's got the outline in white. I just think he's super different than a lot of the light up pumpkins. I was gonna get two of these. I had two in my cart and I was already feeling bad about like having such a full cart and I put one back and I got this guy. I sort of kind of wish I would have gotten both of them because I like the, you know, I like making everything even and matchy looking. But overall, I'm glad I at least got the one because I was gonna put both of them back. But he was really cool. He was 650. Beautiful. But that's not where the light up pumpkin stopped. Sorry, that bag was really loud. But I found the mother of all light up pumpkins. Are you ready for this? I can't even get this thing out the bag. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's huge. Oh my God, beautiful. But I love it, I love it. I've never, you know, you never see these big ones like this. And I mean, he was $30 originally. I paid 15 bucks for this big old guy. And I just think he's gonna look so cute. I wanna put him by my front door outside to greet trick-or-treaters and every other weirdo at my door. And I was so excited about it. Ah! 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 So I really was hoping that I would find, they had a giant, uh, posable, almost life-size werewolf skeleton. And I really wanted him. They didn't have them, and I was gonna go check out other targets, and I said, you know, I need to, I need to pull back here. I need to just be happy with what I have. Because I did find some skeleton friends, it wasn't the werewolf that I wanted, but I got some really good ones. Let me show you. So I got this little cutie. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, you saw me post him yesterday or something like that. Um, he's a little French bulldog skeleton. Look at the little nub. Again, these things are not exactly uh, scientifically correct. Why does he have ears? You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's adorable, whatever. At least it's not the skeleton. I mean, the, a, a light died. Let me talk faster while this one doesn't die. <laughs> but it's not, at least it's not like the spider ones, which are just horrible. But he was uh, 750, beautiful. And then my other skeleton friend, is this dude who is massive. He's a big bat skeleton and his wings, they kind of don't move all that great and I'm scared to break them, but his wings go out. You can hang him upside down, uh, which is probably what we're gonna do, but he also does have like a little string back here if you wanted to hang him right side up. Again, this is not exactly correct, but he's adorable. Um, he was $10, which, for his size, I think is pretty fair. He's so 
cute. Um, but that's all I got. I didn't go as wild as I could have, uh, which is a good thing because, hey, I need to save money. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got to hit some of the sales. Uh, comment below, let me know if you did go to any sales, where you, you know, where you went, what you got, what's your prize, your piece de resistance, let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. Bye, y'all.